what's up guys uh, I'm back with another video sorry it took so long it's probably been like two months since I last made a video or something like that but uh, I've been real busy a lot of shit been going on recently but I'm back to make another video so I started this channel in the summer which was ideal because it's the summertime you know no school or anything so I was just like great you know I got a lot of time to work on my game uh, make videos all of that but now uh, the summer is over school has started back up so I'm back in school I recently had a concussion um, I'm sick right now so just finding the time to even be able to work on my game let alone make a video about it has been a struggle anyways enough of that I just wanted to give you guys a little update about why I've been away for so long but let's get right into the video now I have been working on my game while I've been away from YouTube so that doesn't mean there's been no progress at all I just haven't really been documenting it as much one of the first major things I added since the last episode was just the main menu and as you can see the game finally has a name I decided to call it Elysian now the background for this main menu is still placeholder as a lot of the things in this game still are and the only working functions as of right now are new game and quit also the theme that plays during the main menu is going to be the main theme for the game Aside from that, when I've been playing a game, I've just kind of been thinking like, this looks boring as fuck. Not talking about the game itself, more the art style. Like, there's not really a lot going on. All the parallaxing layers are effectively the same layer with a color change. And one of the main reasons I even decided to do a side scroller instead of a top down game was just so I could have, you know, interesting backgrounds. Cause I like the way skies look in games and shit, like all that stuff. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make it a side scroller. But then I didn't really do much with the backgrounds. So originally I decided to just ask you guys what I should add to the scenes and the levels and all that. And you guys had some pretty good responses. And I think I'm gonna add a couple of them, such as the bushes that you can just cut while walking by, all that stuff but it still wasn't gonna be enough to make the scenes look that much more interesting. So I said, fuck it, I'm gonna redo all the art. I think I always knew that this was the way to go, but just didn't wanna have to go through the trouble of making another couple tile sets and adding all these backgrounds and just going through the trouble of making all the pixel art again. Didn't seem like a good time to me, but I'm glad I did because I think the game looks a lot better now. I've only upgraded the art for one scene, I'm soon to do the other scenes, but like as of right now this is all I got done. Also you'll soon be able to kiss that placeholder enemy goodbye because I got started on all the uh, real enemies sprite work. I think that brings us to the end of this video right here. Um, I know that wasn't a lot of progress for two months, but I was very busy so I didn't have a lot of time to work on the game. Uh, anyways, I hope y'all guys enjoyed, I'll see y'all in the next video, peace. Fix the door to the matrix, it's mad glitches.